Hello and welcome to Less Than Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to communicate online with Gmail. It's for Windows PC and iPad and Android tablet. The subject is computing and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To do this lesson, the children need to have their own Google Apps for Education account. I've just added the link to the, to the site for that. Um, it's also um, important to have an acceptable usage policy already in place at your school. So I've put a, a link with information about doing that. And that says what email is used for, how, uh, when it can be used, how it should be used, and also how it should not be used. And then you also might want to have a discussion about safe and dangerous emails. And I've put a link to this website for I think you know. There's a really good email quiz game that the children can play for that. Okay, so the concepts here in the lesson. When I did this with year three, it worked really well. They just simply sent an email to the teacher about a favorite lesson that they've done for the week. And so the concepts are to know the, the opportunities the internet offers for communication and how to use technology safely, respectfully, and responsibly. So the easy activities are to format the font in the email and to insert an image. And so I'm using Windows PC for this. If I'm in Drive, um, I need to click on the little squares here. You can see here are all of the Google options, so I just need to click on Gmail. Okay, so the children are likely to have some welcome emails if it's the first time that they've opened their account. And so the first thing to do is to click on here, Compose. That's to start a new email. And I like to also go to the full screen option here so we can see better. All right, so I'd like to say as well, it's good to put the person you're writing to at the end when you finish writing the text for the email. Otherwise, you might accidentally send it. Okay, so two, we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, my favorite lesson at school. Okay, and then, then I can just write a quick sentence about what lesson I've liked this week. So this week, I'm going to say to my teacher that I've been liking a, a lesson about space. And so, first of all, because it's a bit of a formal situation writing to my teacher, um, I'm going to put dear as well. But I might explain that if you're just writing to your friends, you might just put hey or hi. So there's different levels of formality with email. Okay, so that might be enough for the easier activities. So the first thing to do is to change the font. So we can select that by holding the mouse down and then go down to here. And you can see lots of different formatting options there. I'll just zoom up so you can see a bit more. All right, so you can see you might put it in more child-friendly comic stands. And this is for the size of the text. So try to avoid huge, it's only for titles. And the main other options there. So just zoom out so you can see. All right, so bold italics. Explain that italics is for emphasis. Underlines usually used for titles. Here we go, we're changing the background color. So what's around the outside, but also the inside. So it mustn't be the same color, otherwise you can't see anything. And there needs to be a contrast. So if one's light, then the other one must be dark. All right, so that looks okay. Now for an image, uh, they can go to Google Images, but just be sure to go to Search Tools when you go to Images and make sure it's labeled for reuse. Any of these are okay for this purpose of the email. Then download it, and then it should go in the Downloads folder. Now we'll go to this one, Insert Photo. And first we need to click on where we want the photo to go. So I'll just go down there and press return. And then we can insert the photo. Okay, so we go to upload. And choose a photo. Or alternatively, they can just have, they can minimize the screen and just drag it into this box here. That's another way to do it. And then I'll just go to downloads and select open. All right, so that's a sort of easy activity that the children could have a go at doing. So you can resize using the box there. Right, the medium activity is to add some more formatting features and we'll look at changing the email signature as well. So let's look at links, emoticons, bullets and numbered lists. So now we might want to find a website about Jupiter. So we can find this one, Planets for Kids. It's a good idea if children are searching for something to just type for kids at the end of whatever they're searching. I, I find that that usually works well. So Planets for Kids. And then we go to this one, insert a link. And the text to display is what writing. Uh, it will be on the screen. And the web address is where they control V or right click paste uh, the actual URL. Okay. So make sure they click on it to test that it works okay and that looks good. 
So that's the link. They can also format the link as well using the same formatting features. Right, the next one is emoticons. Uh, I put this as a medium activity because it's hard to use these sensibly. So uh, since they're writing for the teacher, I just want to put maybe one sensible one. So maybe a cool looking one there. And then we can have that emoticon. Okay, another way to add to the formatting is to use bullets and numbered lists. So we might have um, there has also been, and then you might list some planets in this example. So I'm going to change the font because that's uh, very hard to see. There has also been, and then return. Then this is for numbered lists, Saturn, um, Mars, and that sort of thing. And for the bullets, they want to make it bullet points instead, they can just click this one down here. Right, so the other option is to change the email signature. So to do that, I can save and click the X and then go to settings over here. Go to the little cog and go to settings. Then go down to here and it says signature. So uh, from and then they might type their name. And also the same formatting options here as well, something like that. And then there's many other options here that I want to have a look at, but the changes can be saved there. Okay, so now it's in the draft, so I haven't quite sent it yet. And here it is, so when I was composing before in the small. All right, so now I finished my email, I'm ready to send it. I need to type in the address of the person I'm sending it to. And then I know that I don't need to put, if I've added a signature, I don't need to from from my name because I've already typed that at the end. Right, so the challenge activities, the children should know that it's not just pictures that you can attach to emails. And so you can search for documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and other file types, and also attach them. So let's have a look for a presentation. And so I am just typed in here, Jupiter for children or for kids. And then I've put a special advanced search feature because it's a challenge activity and I want to really specifically find only PowerPoint files. So I'll put file type colon dot pptx, which is for the new PowerPoint format like that. Okay, so then I found this one. And when you click on that, um, it's from my child's work. So Jupiter by Hendrik. So thanks Hendrik for doing this work. And then we can go to this one, the little paperclip file. All right, so Jupiter by Hendrik. And we can open. And then that will slowly um, attached to the email and then that will be ready to send. So that's a basic introduction that you can give to the children to teach about email. And some other resources are the Google Help website that's really clearly written advice on what to do when you're stuck. And also I really recommend doing Google Certified Teacher Training. You can start with level one and it's not very much to go and do it and it's really informative for how you can use Google Apps for Education at your school. Thank you. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Corwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.